Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Hello, how are you today? How are I'm you? Fine, thank you, teacher. And you? Okay, I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was the weekend? Did you have a weekend? Everything was great. Can you hear me? Do you understand my question? Today is July 19th. 13th. Today is July 13th. What year? Yes, sorry. Okay. What's the year? Somebody, anybody? 2020. 2020. Nice and simple. Okay, so welcome back. It's July 13, 2020. It's a Monday. And let's begin. Do you guys remember what we did in last class? Do you remember the topics? Do you? Hi, teacher. We talk about the difference between house and Good. So we were discussing differences between houses and apartments. Yes. Can you give me one example of a difference that you find between the two? What can you say between houses and, and apartments? What is one difference? The apartments are smaller than houses. Okay, yes. Apartments are usually smaller than houses. In some cases, apartments are bigger, but usually apartments are smaller. Good. Yeah. Can someone else give me another example? Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Okay, good. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Okay, good. So maybe you have one or two, but that's it. That's the that's the limit. Okay. Any other examples you can give it's comparing houses and apartments? Houses have more privacy as apartment. Good. Houses have more privacy than apartments. Okay. That's a big truth. All right. Anybody else wants to give it a try? No. Okay. Uh, what else did we do last class? Did we cover any other topics? Did we cover any other topics? Did we? Okay. The Tuesday classes. Yeah, on Thursday, right. On Thursday. Okay. Um, what part of the platform are you guys doing right now? In this moment, I the last part in the part three. Okay, you're doing the last part of unit three. Okay, good. Someone else? Reception three. Okay. The Good. last part two. Okay. So in theory, everybody should be doing um, unit three. So the, the, all the units do not accumulate and you don't have a lot of work at the end. So it's better to do work on the platform on a weekly basis, the latest. So, okay. Any questions or comments before we start? No, teacher. No? 
Okay, I will give you exactly five minutes so you guys can work in pairs and share with your friend the activities you guys did on the weekend. That includes Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and all day today. So let me do this. Uh -huh -huh. I will make, and here we go. Spend all day sleeping. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah. And you? And Noeli, what? How are you? I am okay. Um. What you can uh, tell us? Noeli. Portando, no sé cómo se dice. Also playing with my dog and cooking at the chicken. And what about you? Mm, on Friday morning, I get up super late, and in the afternoon, I sew my period. I feel late, late at night. Mm, I had an appointment on Saturday at the morning, but I woke up very late. I forgot my appointment. <laughs> <laughs> and on Sunday, I have a meeting in we in the, in the church. Okay. And so uh, a Zoom meeting. And in the afternoon, I sleep all afternoon. So. It was great. It's really great to see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand you. <laughs> uh, excuse yeah. the interruption. Rebecca, what is your telephone number? Uh, 7853. 7853. Uh, let, let, let me look for it. Okay. 7853. Seven. 8760? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I will say hello now. I wanted to write you on the weekend, but I couldn't find your number. Okay, now okay. I got it. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Okay, sure. Continue. But I finish. Oh, okay. And where where do you study? I study in Unicars. Okay. Yes. And are you a, a engineer or bachelor's or tell me? It's a bachelor's. Okay. Yeah. It's great. Yes. Um, like are you two family? Yeah. Eduardo and Annie, are you family? Yes, teacher. Yeah. What are you? I uh, yeah, and I stay in my home, my house. Okay, but are you two family? Because Eduardo Magaña and Annie Magaña are uh, no. family. Oh no, 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 no teacher. I can't understand. <laughs> I really, I really don't don't know what is Anna. How old are you, Anna? <laughs> 23 years. Oh, okay. Very I, young. I really don't know, Anna. 
Anything. Okay. Because when you said yes, I said, man, they're doing a good job. Like they don't know each other, you know, asking questions and everything. <laughs> That's good. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. And I return my, my house around 6 p.m. You have a um, busy day. Yeah. For that reason, I, I think all weekend I need to take a nap. Yeah. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what? And um, ibuprofeno and loratadina. <laughs> yes. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. My palliative is the word for the, for the flu. Do you good. do you recommend it? Yeah, I recommend it. Okay, I have never tried para grip, but I see the commercials and everything, and uh, but I never tasted it before. For me, oh, it's, it's good. So it's uh, effective. Yeah. Good. And, and who was sick or who is sick? Saul. Oh, okay. Are you taking medicine, Saul? Yes, I took medicine. Okay, are you still sick? Uh, yes, uh, last, uh, last weekend uh, I was seeing my bell. Uh -huh. I don't feel, I don't feel because the, I, uh, I have the flu because now I really, 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 really go. You feel better I feel now. Really good. Okay. Well, that's good. You know, like, you know, that's the idea of taking medicine so people feel better. Yes. That's good. All right. So you're start studying. <laughs> but you you live in Ilopango? Yeah, you I live. In? Um, I lived in the at the university in the camp. Uh, I never heard about that. Oh, uh, I know. It's a good you know, university. <laughs> Do you know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But nobody, nobody knows. It. Yeah, it's it's not too yeah. um it's not too common to hear about the university, but I didn't know until I met you guys at mm -hmm. Indigo. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice place. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> good, good. Sometimes I miss it. Being there. Yeah. <laughs> Have you gone back, Rebecca, after you finish your studies? No. No, you never went back to visit? No, never. Okay. Have you seen any of, of, of the people from Indigo? Uh, no. No. After I, after I leave Indigo, no. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions related with past events? The reason why I'm asking you to talk about your weekend is for you guys to practice what we have seen uh, in theory, like use the, the, the use of did, was, were, the form of the verbs. So uh, any questions before we change activity? Is everything clear? To me, yes, teacher. Okay. All right, good. All right, let me ask you the following. Um, besides this class, um, do you guys have any other chance to practice the language at home right now? It's a question. In my case, yes. With my coaching, and I have a, an uncle. Okay, and they live here in El Salvador or somewhere else? 
uh, yes, it is here in El Salvador, but uh, every every Sunday in the afternoon we practice. Good, very good, nice. Someone else? Me too, teacher. But okay. um, I just I was seeing uh, I I was saw videos in Facebook. Uh huh. From a channel of Super Holly. Okay. And I have a good videos of English. And I follow one page on Facebook. Um, they call uh, Yo Quiero Aprender Inglés in Español. Okay, I want to learn English. Uh huh. And and I saw image from verbs, paraphrases, um, adjectives, um, and that's it. Okay. Someone uh -huh. else practices the language at, at home with a friend, neighbors, or family members? Teacher, I only study in Snapchat. It's a ad, but. Uh -huh. Uh, too many people using the app and I only watch videos in, in English in the Snapchat. Okay, good. But really, I watch uh, movies in subtitles. Sub subtitles. Nice. Subtitles. Subtitles. Um, but only that. And what... Can you give me an advice for, for learning English, for my vocabulary? Why, what is your advice? Okay, uh, that's a good question. I don't know if I mentioned this to, guys, uh, to you guys before, but the best way to improve vocabulary, uh, improve grammar, pronunciation, is by practicing listening. Um, so I do recommend people to watch movie trailers, uh, movies without subtitles. If you want to use subtitles, make sure that the subtitles are in English too. The thing is, um, anything that you do to practice the language is good. Reading, speaking, listening, writing, anything is fine. But the most effective is practicing listening. Uh, but good listening, like uh, news, um, documentaries where people use the language in a very good way. So you guys understand pronunciation, fluency. So uh, movie trailers are good too because they're very short. And like if there is something you don't understand, you can easily rewind it and, uh, and you get to repeat the part you didn't understand. So I do recommend listening and there are so many places that you can visit in the internet to help you uh, practice uh, your listening skills. So listening is definitely the one that I recommend the most. Yep. Okay. Anybody else wants to share how you practice your English at home? In my case, teacher, I sometimes practice my English with my husband. Okay. All right, and your cousins are uh, here in El Salvador? My husband. Oh, your husband. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's here in El Salvador, yeah. Okay, good, good. So uh, that is good. If there is someone in your house, this person speaks the language, make sure you take advantage of that situation and you practice with them, you know? So, um, yeah. So the people that are listening to you, like if you speak with your husband and if you have children, your children get, uh, get to practice their listening too. So not only you and your husband practice, but the people around you, they practice as well. All right. Yeah. So let me ask you, how do you guys practice your pronunciation? What do you do to practice pronunciation? <laughs> good. In my case, I I sing. <laughs> good, good. When when I am when I am driving, I I like to sing. Um, the most the most music I 
I listen uh, is in English. Um, this is the best for me. <laughs> good, good. And you know, and, and that is good because I know that when you're singing, you enjoy it. And when you yeah. enjoy doing something, you don't feel like you're studying or practicing, like you're, you, you enjoy what you do. So singing is good. And yeah, what, is your, uh, what is your favorite genre? Uh, my favorite genre is the rock, rock music. Um, in the 80s, 80s music. Um, okay. And that's it. Just All right. Okay. Anybody else wants to share how you practice your pronunciation, your speaking? Teacher, in my case, um, I like to to a song in English. It's my favorite. Your name is personal. But okay. I write in my notebook all the the song the lyrics. And I, uh -huh. I try to I try to learn the good the, the song. It's good. for me. And but I had a question from the from the music for the song. Sorry. Uh huh. Okay, in the song, uh, is the sentence says cheek gums mess with your head. Yeah. Okay, tell me what is you you using cheek gums? She mess. She gums. She gums mess. Okay. Uh, she she went. She's gone mess with your head. Yes. Uh, it can be interpreted in different forms. Like maybe she's playing with you. Maybe she's trying to provoke you to do something. It depends on the rest of the lyrics. So she's gone mess with your head. She's playing with you. That will be like the main uh, 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 message from that phrase. So she's gone. She has gone. Yep. All right. Anybody else wants to share how you practice your speaking, your pronunciation, fluency, and accuracy? In my case, sometimes I try to speak with my ex classmate. Okay. Um, also, every day, uh, I try to learn one song. Good. And I spend my time, my time singing on you know, all the day in my good. house. Good. 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 Yeah, and you know, like when you're singing, you're you're being very natural. I mean, and it's not like you're giving a concert that you have to sound like, oh my God, but you know, just be natural and, and, and that surely helps. Yep. Anybody else? One more person? Someone else? Someone else? Okay, what about tongue twisters? Do you guys practice with tongue twisters? No. Do you know any tongue twisters in English? No, let, no me, teacher. Let me no. show you a page. Okay, when we practice with tongue twisters, um, not only you're practicing your fluency and your accuracy, but the, you're practicing specific sounds in particular. So can you see the, 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 the paper that I'm sharing with you? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, so tongue twisters. Okay, can I have a volunteer to read that one? Okay, me teacher. Okay, go ahead. She sells seals health by the sea's whore. Okay. Can so you say it she, faster? She sells seas shells by the sea's shore. Okay. What uh -huh. sound are we practicing there? The S. Uh huh. And um, S H. S H and. S yeah. <laughs> and S A. So she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. Can I have another volunteer and try to say it? Volunteer, volunteer. Uh huh. Volunteer she, or victim? Uh huh. Go ahead. She sells. She sells her shells by the seashore. Okay. Try to say it faster. She sells seashells 
by the seashore. Okay, she sells seashells by the seashore. She <laughs> sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, another volunteer. Uh-huh. Someone else? Volunteer or victim? Lisette, can you help us? <laughs> but it's a little uh, complicated. Don't worry. But she sells seashells by the seash. By the seashore. seashore. Okay, can you say it faster? Seashore. Seashore. She sells the last one in the, the sea. Seashore. 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 Yeah, seashore. She sells, she holds by the seashore. Okay, seashore. good. Gabriela, can you help Lisette? Uh, okay, I try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Good. Rebecca. Okay, she sells seashell by the seashore. Okay, good. Another volunteer to read the first one? No? Okay, now we have uh, the second one. How do you read number two? Me, teacher. Okay, please. Okay. Um, rubber baby boogie bumpers. Okay, what sound are we practicing there? Uh, the R and um, the the B. Uh -huh. the Which U. B? Uh, how I do you say know. how do you say B the baby or B de bolaños? Um. Mm, no, no, I don't know what what this okay, is. Okay, okay, okay. Is in English. <laughs> okay, let, let me write it in the chat for you in the WhatsApp chat. Let, hold on, let me um. Eight to nine, eight to nine, right here. So you say B as in baby. B as in baby. Okay, so roar baby buggy bumpers. Good. Another volunteer that wants to practice this? Okay. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Good. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Someone else? Rubber baby buggy bumper. Uh huh. Someone else? Someone else? Someone else? One more? Rubber baby buggy bumper. Okay, good. So like um, like Ben said, here we're practicing B. Which B? B as in boy. B as in blue. B as in baby. So in English, when you're spelling words, uh, especially if you're on the cell phone or you're using uh, your computer to call, you want to make sure that people understand which letter you're referring to. So you will say B as in blue. So people ask you B as in baby or V as in Victor. So you want to say V as in, and here we go with the last one. Okay, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Uh, what sound are we practicing there? Uh, the the W W B W B W and and C H. Yes. Okay. Can you try and say it? Uh, yeah, I try. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if he would chuck could chuck wood? Okay. <laughs> Good. Good. So, you know, when the, the first time you read it, you know, like you, you stutter, you are, uh, you're like, okay, like you get stuck. But as you keep saying it, you become faster. Okay, yeah. another, another volunteer. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Uh-huh. Someone else, someone else. 
How much go go a go chop chop it a go chop go chop go. Okay, good, good. Another volunteer. How much go go a go chop chop it a go chop go go chop go. Good, good. Okay, someone else, another volunteer. Someone else, someone else. So as you can see, in the first tongue twister, we practice SH with S. With the second tongue twister, we practice letter B, B as in boy. And with tongue twister number three, we're practicing W with CH. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Anybody else wants to give it a try? Uh huh. Somebody? Anybody? No? Okay, so let's go back to the exercise that we have in the platform. Mm -hmm. Let me see where is this? I think it's this one here. All right. So, can you see the document that I'm sharing with you? Yes. It is. yes. Okay. Yes. So the, the first question no, says, teacher. which is correct? Which is correct? In my opinion, houses are as expensive apartments in my neighborhood. In my opinion, houses are expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Or in my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. The last one three. Yes. The teacher, I didn't receive anything. What is it? I didn't receive anything. Okay, I'm sharing right now in the screen of my computer. Can you see it? Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So the, the right answer is number three. In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. So what is the message? What is more expensive, houses or apartments in that particular sentence? Um, houses, houses are more expensive. But according to the, the, this particular sentence, they are the same. Both are similar. Exactly. Yes. Houses are just as expensive as apartments. So let's say you go to a Colonia San Benito, you find yourself a house uh, kind of small, a thousand dollars. And then the apartments, they also cost a thousand dollars. So they are as expensive as apartments. Okay. All right, let's do number two. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house, which one is correct? Which one is the best option? One, two, or three? The last one. Number three. Yes, number three is correct. Isn't as big as his. So what is the message here? Uh, Whose house is bigger, the neighbors or the person speaking? The neighbor. The neighbors. The neighbor. Yes, the neighbor's house is bigger than the one of the person speaking. Question three. I don't like to live in apartments because they will be the best option. The first one? The first because one. they don't have as many rooms as houses. So which one has more rooms, apartments or houses, according to this example? The houses. The houses. All right, houses good. Okay, and number four, my new house doesn't have what? As, as much. much. Okay. As much as much space as my old house. Now you could also say my house, my new house doesn't have enough space as my old house is valid. So we send it and your answers were perfectly 
Correct. All right. Any questions or comments about this exercise? No? So remember, the idea is when you are comparing two different things, you're sending a message very similar to this. After each exercise, I ask you a question, which one is bigger, which is more expensive, because there is a message in each one. Any questions or comments? No. No? Okay. Now, how do you say, uh, this is gonna be our new topic of the week. How do you say, me gustaría que no hubiera tanto crimen en El Salvador? How would you say that in English? I wish, uh -huh. I wish that that not exist as much crime in El Salvador. Okay, I wish crime did not exist in El Salvador. Good. Okay. Okay, imagine that you're in a neighborhood where the water service is not good. How do you say me gustaría tener agua? I, I wish, wish. Had water. I wish we had water. Exactly. Okay. So let me explain the following. When we're talking about wishes, uh, whether the information is positive or negative, the the complement of what you are saying, it always needs to be in the simple past form. And there is no connection with the simple pass function itself, but it's just a structure that we're borrowing to make a wish. So look here, do you see the image that where it says wish? Do you see it? Yes, it. Okay. Yes, it so look here, use wish plus past tense to refer to present wishes. Now, here's the reality. I live with my parents, and maybe they're too demanding, maybe they have their problems. So I say to my friends, I wish I didn't live with my parents. How will you say this example in Spanish? I wish I didn't live with my parents. Que desea no vivir con los padres. Aha, me gustaría. Desearía, quisiera no vivir con mis papás, con mis padres. As you can see, when I say me gustaría no vivir con mis papás, that means that I'm living with my parents at the time that I'm speaking. So what I do, in this case, the wish is negative. Me gustaría no vivir con mis papás. So the wish, the complement of the wish is in the simple past form. In this case, we're using the negative didn't. Now look at the second example. I wish I had my own apartment. How do you say that one in Spanish? Me gustaría tener mi propio apartamento. Exactly, very good. Me gustaría tener mi propio apartamento. That means que no tiene su propio apartamento. So to, to express that wish, the person, whether the information is negative or positive, this person is using the simple past form to use it as the complement of the wish. So look at, at this one here, I can't move out. Imagine that you don't have a job and moving out of your house is not an option. So you said, I wish I could move out. How do you say that one in Spanish? I wish I could move out. Me gustaría, desearía. What? Class? Desearía mudarme. Uh-huh. So remember, I wish I could move out. Desearía poderme mover o mudarme. So we know that could is the past tense of can. Could is the past tense of can. So when we're expressing wishes, 
the complement always, always has to be in the simple past form. So look at this one. Look at the second, uh, the, 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 the group on the right. Life is difficult. We know it. Life is difficult. Now, we use the simple past form of the verb when we're using uh, wishes. There is only one exception. Um, what are the three forms of verb to be in present? The three forms of verb to be in the simple present form. What are they? Am, is, are, are. Good. Am, is, are. What are the two forms of verb to be in past? Was and were. Was and were. Was and were. Observation. When you're talking about wishes, was does not exist. So how do you say, si yo fuese usted? How will you say that in English? If I was you. If I were you. Ah, if I were you. Because yeah. was does not exist. So you're going to use were with all personal pronouns. How do you tell your best friend, me gustaría que estuvieras acá? I, I wish you were here. Exactly. I wish you were here. So you say, but were, were is only for uh, you, we, and they. But in this case, we're using wishes. So never use was. However, if you pay attention to movies, if you pay attention to the lyrics of music, it is normal that people say, I wish you was here. I wish I was there. I wish I was the president. But grammatically speaking, it's not correct. So keep that in mind that when you're talking about wishes, was does not exist ever. Okay. So life is difficult. What is your wish? I wish it were easier. How will you say that in Spanish? I wish you were easier. Me gustaría que mi trabajo fuera más fácil o desearía que mi trabajo fuera más fácil. Okay, desearía que fuese más fácil. Good. Now look at this one. I wish it weren't so difficult. I wish it weren't so difficult. How will you say that one in Spanish? Me gustaría que no fuera tan difícil. Exactly. Me gustaría que no fuera. So once again, that is your wish. So you use were. Now look at the, uh, at the last one. My parents won't stop worrying about me. No, no paran de preocuparse por mí. I wish they would stop worrying about me. How will you say the last one in Spanish? Desearía que ellos dejaran de preocuparse por mí. Exactly. Now, if you guys remember, when we are using models, would has double function. We use would to talk about past events and also we use it to talk about hypothetical situations. So in this case, I can tell you, uh, when I was a kid, I would fly kites in October. I would fly kites in October. Encumbraba piscuchas. Or I can say when I was a kid, I used to fly kites in October. And I'm saying exactly the same thing. Uh, any questions? So, okay, we have elections next year. Imagine that you have the chance to speak with your candidate, the person you're going to vote for. What will you tell this person uh, using wishes? Uh, um, me first, teacher. Okay, go. Um, I I wish they will stop earn too much money. Okay, good. I wish they will stop earning too much money. Good. And I think that most Salvadorians agree with you. You know, like man, there are so many things we can do, and you know. Okay, yeah. very good. That's a good example. Someone else. What will you tell your candidate? 
Uh -huh. I wish you could take the best decision. I wish you could take? The best decision. Okay, good. I wish you could make the best decisions. Good. What else? Other examples? Mm -hmm. Examples, examples. What will you tell the government or, or, or the future candidate of your choice? What will you tell this person? Mm -hmm. How do you, how would you say? I wish you can save more money. I wish you could save more money. Good, good. What would you say to them? Me gustaría que no se reunieran en público. How would you say that? Because of the emergency that we have. Me gustaría que no se reunieran en público. I uh, wish. I wish they could stop a group in public. Okay, I wish they could stop getting together in public. Oh, or okay. you can say it in a different form. Teacher, teacher, I say. Uh huh, Edward. I wish they didn't meet it in public. Good. I wish they didn't meet in public. Exactly. Yeah. So yes. you can say didn't, or you can say couldn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you see the examples that I just sent you to the WhatsApp chat? Did you receive the image? Hello, hello. Okay, it's in the WhatsApp chat. So, uh, I want you to transfer these sentences here to the wishes form. So, I will ask you, to work in pairs again. And if you have any questions, you guys um, let me know. Here we go. I wish play the piano. Mm -hmm. um, I am at work. I wish. I am. I am at work. Estoy en el trabajo. I wish start or at work. Mm, How do you say? I gustaría estar en casa. I, I wish to stay in my home. I wish I could stay in my home. Or you can say, I wish I were home. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. 
it could be in different forms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which which number are you doing? Number three. Okay, I'm at work. What's the answer? How do you say me gustaría estar en casa? I wish. I wish I, I could be at home. I wish I could be at home. Good. I wish I were home. Good. I wish we're in winter only. Negative. It's possible too. Which okay, okay. The number five, it says, I, I am ill. It's possible, uh, I wish I were, I weren't ill. I weren't ill, uh-huh. Yes. Good. And your opinion, Anna? Mm. Which one are you doing? We are, we can review the, the, the grammar focus. Oh, okay. We have a doubt about the first question, uh, about the first sentence. Okay, what is the first? Um, um, I don't have a car, maybe I don't remember. Okay, that. I don't have a car. How do you say, me gustaría tener a car? I wish I have a car. I wish I had a car. Good. Or maybe I, the, the, um, I may, maybe I, I wish I would have a car or Good. no. Yes, that is possible too. I wish I would have a car. Yes. I, I have, yeah, but, but, but how you translate that? that? I wish uh -huh. I would have a car. Me gustaría tener carro. What is the function of the, the, the word would? Would, exactly, use. exactly. So like I was giving you the example, when I was a kid, I would fly kites in October. I would fly kites in October, en Cumbraba Piscuchas. So I can also say, when I was a kid, I used to fly kites in October, and they're exactly the same. So would, the other function of would is to be used in, in, in past um, sentences. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, but you can omit the, the would because would. Yes, you can omit the, it. The, the, the termination of the word in ria in español. Right, right. So you can say it I wish I would have a car or I wish I had a car. So it doesn't matter if which structure you're using, as long as the verb that you're using is in the simple past uh, 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 form, in the simple past form. You can so, omit them. Right, so let me give you an example. I live in Lourdes, okay. but sometimes because of traffic, I say to myself, I wish I would live in San Salvador. I would live in San Salvador. Me gustaría vivir en San Salvador. Or I can say, I wish I lived in San Salvador. So you can use the, the main verb in the simple past form, or if you prefer, you include would and the verb stays base form. So the two options are good. Okay. Uh huh. You can say, but, but, but you say the verb in the past. It, exactly. I wish I lived. Exactly. In the past. Exactly. Or it, I don't have a car. Me gustaría manejar carro. I wish I drove a car. Okay. Yep. Or I or wish I, I had wish a car. I will. I will drive, drive a, car. a car. Exactly. The two options are good. When we use go, the bear is in present. Exactly. Stays base form. That is in correct. Base form. Yes. Okay. So imagine okay. it's it's 9 p.m. and it's very hot. So you said, I wish I took a shower. Me gustaría poderme bañar. Or I wish I would take a shower. And the two sentences are good. Okay. Yep. 
Okay, thank you. It's, right, it's the best, it's a form you like to, to when you didn't remember, or you don't remember the, the pass of the verb, you can. You can use you word can as a substitute. Yes, exactly, word. exactly. And, and it's a good technique okay. because like, man, what is the past tense of this verb? If you don't know it, you make a combination of word with the verb in, in uh, base form. But only when you use I wish. Right, in this, in this particular uh, context, yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, you guys no. finished? No, teacher, uh, we have a discussion here. <laughs> okay, which number are you doing? Uh, the number seven. I can afford to go on holiday. Right. Uh huh. What is the uh, past tense of can? Uh, I, I forgot. How do you say no pude venir ayer? I couldn't. Uh huh. So Come remember, could yesterday is the past tense of can. So okay. I can't afford to go on a holiday. So you want to say, me gustaría poder costear irme de vacación. How will you say that in English? Ah, uh, okay. I wish, I wish could afford to go on holiday. Okay, I wish I could afford. I could afford to go to on go holiday. On holiday. Okay. Yes. And we have another question. Yes. Um, with number four. Uh huh. And oh. it's winter. Uh, we have. We have a, uh, no sé cómo se dice duda. Doubt. <laughs> doubt. Uh -huh. okay. What is the doubt? Um, it's winter and I think that will be, um, wish be winter. No. Or, or, or have, or okay, we have to put el, the I. No. It's first person. So no. It's winter. And you don't like the cold weather. So you say, me gustaría que fuese verano. How will you say that? You will say, I wish it were summer. Oh. Because the main yeah. verb here is is. So you transfer is to the past tense. The past tense of is is was. But like I said, there is one exception that was does not exist in this topic. So you say, I wish it were summer. It worked. Ah, okay. Yep. And that uh, in this case, uh, we have to put. I wish. Um, I wish were. It winter. were. I wish it were winter. Yeah. Or, or or if you say me gustaría que no fuera invierno, you're saying exactly the same thing. So you say I wish it weren't winter. Okay. Yep. And that's it. I All don't right. know if my partners have a uh, doubt. <laughs> Any doubts, questions, Saul, Noeli? No, teacher, no question. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay, thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, tomorrow when we start the class, this is going to be um, our first activity. We're going to go over each sentence to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Do you guys have any questions or comments about today? Me, teacher. Uh, yes, Benjamin. Just, uh, you have... Do you, you you can share the picture of sure. the which topic? Sure, please. sure, sure. Okay. I'll do that. I'll send it right now. Okay. All and right. the and the exercise of tongue. Oh, the tongue twisters. Uh, uh, the tongue twisters. Okay, like. I'll, I'll send the two images. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right. Um, any other questions or comments, class? 
No? Okay, so if you don't have any questions or comments, once again, I thank you for your time and I'll be seeing you tomorrow, eight o'clock. You guys have a good night. Okay, good night, thank teacher. You too. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.